So when waiting for the AeroOS updates of uh, December 1, I thought of uh, visiting the Realme Pads channel. And there are a bunch of new custom rooms with the customizations unlike the AeroOS. But still, those are unofficial and have some uh, known bugs. In this video, I thought of installing a one which is the Bliss OS. I know the Bliss OS, I have installed it in some other devices like my Moto E or my Asus Zenfone Lite L1. But the only reason that I am installing in this one is it has the customization. Android 13 with the customization on the Realme Pad, it is first time for me. So let's get the Bliss OS on Realme Pad. So before proceeding any further, make sure you back up all your data because uh, you have to format the data in order to proceed further. I already did back up all my data in my PC. Second thing is you need a USB cable which you can connect over uh, here. And the next thing is I will just uh, reboot to the recovery. So AeroWise has this option to do the uh, reboot to recovery. So I will do that. In your PC, you can see the Arrow uh, Blizz OS. So uh, it is initial built. G, uh, G apps is there. Uh, so uh, we no need to download the S app again. And it is recommended to use uh, DWRP and offline charger is uh, charging is not working. So when the device is fully drained or something and you are trying to charge, that may not work. It will uh, it will can give some serious issue or something. Or sometime it will try to boot uh, directly to the system when you plug the charger. So this is one of the important thing that you need to know uh, before installing. So the risk is that you are warned so you are taking the risk here first thing that i am going to do is uh, it is currently in arrow voice recovery so um, i have to do go to this one and i'll just uh, reboot to the bootloader so once it is in bootloader i will open this uh, one and here i have the blizz OS. and in the realme pad and here i should be having the uh, adb silo tool um, i can find it inside here so platform tool is there so if you have a platform tool uh, open that folder and in the top you can uh, click the this one path and then you can type cmd so cmd so cmd will open in that particular uh, folder so once you are in the uh, this one here you can see it is in a fast boot uh, you can just type uh, fast boot devices here it is not uh, detecting my device so uh, this problem is happens uh, every time so device manager i have to go so in the device manager uh, you will see some android uh, this one triangle symbol there you can uh, update driver so here you need to uh, browse manually and let me choose this one and android device and in the Android device, you can select any of this uh, uh, bootloader interface. So I'm selecting it. Yes. So now you can see that is bent. And then now let me try it. So here it is uh, showing the fast boot devices. Maybe uh, it won't show for you uh, so in some situation. That time you may need to restart your computer or close the CMD and open it again and once you are uh, fine with this one uh, so you can type fast boot uh, uh, i have to uh, uh, boot into the twrp so where i have the twrp well i have it in this folder called twrp i also have the instructions with me uh, so now i first i need to do this uh, fast boot uh, disable dm variety uh, VB data that this one but the issue is uh, this platform tool is uh, in the different folder and TWRP is in different folder so what I will do is I'll try to manually uh, first I will paste it and then I will delete uh, this uh, separate part and then here I have this VB data right I will just drag and drop which will eventually uh, put that uh, path in here okay so it is now uh, installing it uh, the second thing that I have to do is uh, fast boot flash uh, recovery. Uh, so I'll just copy and right click it will paste it. So here I have the TWRP. So I'll just drag and drop and then I will do this one. Okay. Now uh, it is booted. So I do fast boot reboot recovery. So it should uh, reboot the device to the recovery which is TWRP. Okay. 
so now we are in the uh, twrp now the procedure is simple what i need to do i just uh, simply uh, uh, the custom rom folder and arrow os and i will just uh, try to side load it so that it will work i have wipe so i will do the uh, format data yes so before that you make sure you back up all your data that is important and i come back and i'll do the advanced wipe which is not um, necessary i think so still i'll do it so i'll just reboot to recovery again so that it can uh, make use of the uh, internal storage or something okay so now uh, i will go to advanced and then i will do the adb side load method and i will select both the dalvik cache and this one wipe cache so we have uh, now we initiated the uh, adb side load so what i will do now in the pc again i will open same uh, cmd folder so i can type adb devices so now it is not fast boot we are in adb so it is showing the device so i do adb side load and then i need to side load the bliss os okay here i have the bliss os with the g apps so what i do i will just select here and enter it should do the thing so it won't complete uh, till 100 or something from 47 it will stop it eventually so that is that so it is again it stopped at 47 so but this time we are not seeing any error so it should boot now so let me just reboot to the system okay now it is booted so we have the boot animation good good looking boot animation like arc reactor or something okay now the brightness got reduced so it is booting perfectly fine so yeah this is great and welcome to your tablet kickstarter next i already have the sim card uh, inserted the brightness is low so i will connect to my network okay finally it has uh, booted so i will just uh, skip it uh, non don't do any copies is copying i'll do skip i'll do this uh, initial setup uh, after some time so i'll skip this part also this one is fully dark okay so finally uh, we are in the so we are currently uh, now in this uh, uh, bliss os so i'll go to settings and check what we are working with so we have a blissify we have the customization like uh, i would say animation buttons and gestures so that is good uh, the important thing that i'm looking for is the traffic indicator so that is there here you can uh, see it in this one uh, it used to come so that is great great next things are like there are a lot of uh, things which i have to go through themes um header shape icons those things we can check it and we have battery option battery usage sound uh, so here i think it is a default uh, sound only so there isn't like any dolby atmos or something or else i'm not sure i have to check it on display you have uh, same uh, structure of things so system and we have the bliss, bliss updater so not sure whether they will update it or not so Blizz is currently running with the uh, version uh, 16.2 uh, called uh, Typhoon. So Mitmat and it is unofficial built and uh, uh, this one December uh, 31 and this is still uh, November 5th uh, security patch. So yeah that is there it's not uh, this one and kernel is uh, again uh, 1.14.301. Uh, try to cover uh, all the performance and metrics and I will use it for some and uh, we will see the review very soon. So once I prepare the review I will post it and if you are watching it later point of time after a week or something you can find the review in the pinned comment of the in the comment section. So yeah, that's about the, this video. So thank you for watching. Kotmato.